Over the years, we have brought you dozens of stories about how climate change is affecting Maine's farms, its forests, its communities. But there's been a no more tangible and hard hitting example recently of how our weather is being affected than the two back to back storms that lashed the entire Maine coastline last week. Fishing docks smashed, boats hoisted onto shore, homes and businesses flooded. And a big reason it's happening more often is that there's more water in our oceans. And it has to go somewhere. So we thought we'd bring in Keith Carson to talk about that. Hi, Keith. Hi, Brian and Amanda. Yeah, I think specifically when we talk about this storm on Saturday, um, it wasn't a particularly strong storm. If you were with us for storm coverage uh, on Saturday, I was talking about the winds weren't all that strong um, and we were still breaking all these all time water records, uh, not only in Portland, but up and down the coastline. And this is a look at the surface map on that day. It's a 981 low to give you some perspective. Winter storm Nemo, which gave Portland its biggest ever snowfall, uh, was a 968 low, so a much stronger storm. So nothing anomalous really about this storm by itself. It did time up, of course, with a high tide, but even that was not one of the highest tides of the year. It was the highest tide of the month. We have several more when I was looking forward over the next couple of months that are actually higher than that tide. So we broke records going back to 1978. That was our last record, um, and that was from a blizzard of 1978. So what I did was highlight 1978 on this global sea level rise chart and then go forward to 2020 here and figure out how much on average did our sea level rise. There's some localized data that's actually higher than this, but I wanted to use this as a baseline. So it rose from 1978 when our last record that was just toppled here was recorded, 125 millimeters converted to inches. That means it rose 4.9 inches. And it's amazing how well this correlates. So let's take a look at the record that we just broke. Uh, records go back to 1912, but again, we broke records from 1978. And those records from 1978, we beat by 4.8 inches, which means that if it weren't for the sea level rise, we actually wouldn't have had the all time highest water level in Portland. And that's true in a lot of the spots up and down the coastline. Now there are storms that are gonna be anomalous and are gonna be worse than this as they correspond with higher tides, king tides, which this was not. So I think this is one of those kind of elephant in the room situations. It's not that we didn't have strong storms in the 70s, 60s, 50s, we certainly did, and we'll continue to have strong storms. But when your baseline is higher, all it takes is a high tide and a couple of feet of storm surge. Three to three and a half feet is what we had for storm surge there uh, on Saturday, which is not a huge amount of storm surge, guys. Again, hurricanes can have over 10 feet of surge. We mm. just did that with three to three and a half, and it has to do, of course, with uh, the rising sea levels. Um, aside from this, maybe good news after this, we actually have some snow to talk about, which I'll do in a few minutes. All right, Keith, thank you. We'll see you in a bit.